is one of the biggest secrets that the credit bureaus do not want you to know. Now, there are a lot of issues that are going on right now in credit repair that a lot of credit repair companies don't want to tell you about, whether you're working on your credit on your own or you hired some amateurs on social media to help you fix your credit. You started to get a bunch of stall tactic letters. TransUnion specifically likes to send out a letter that says, it appears that you're working with a credit repair company and you need to let them know that they need to let us know who they are. And you know what? Don't work with credit repair companies. You should fix your credit using our software right here. Or Experian, this one's my favorite. Favorite. It appears that we received a suspicious letter and it doesn't look like it came from you. We're going to need you to supply us all types of documentation proving that it came from you. If it was truly you or if not, we're not going to do any investigation. Or my favorite, good old ho-ass Equifax. Equifax just likes to slap a fraud alert on your credit report and then guess what? Now you're blocked out. You can't do anything until you remove the fraud alert. And that's actually a simple fix. All you have to do is send a simple letter to them and tell them, hey, I want you to remove this fraud alert on my credit report, I never requested it, remove it immediately, or you can call them and ask them to remove it over the phone also. Now the numbers are up there, so if you need them, just use those numbers to call HOAS Equifax. But don't worry, there's more because Equifax also likes to send you a letter stating, oh, we already investigated this and we determined that it was verified to be accurate, so we're not gonna do anything anymore. So what do you do when you're up against so many different obstacles when you're trying to fix your credit just as a regular consumer or you're working with some HOAS amateur credit report? company. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to handle all those ho ass stall tactic letters that you're getting from the credit reporting agencies. Rule number one, do not ignore them because if you ignore them, then guess what? You might have possibly wasted an entire round and we don't want to do that. We want you to respond accordingly depending on the actual stall tactic. If they're asking you for more documentation, then guess what? Send it to them. But it's the way that you're sending it that's making you not win with them because you would think, hey, listen, man, I sent in the letter and they keep doing it over and over again. This is proof that this is an automated system and it is literally kicking it back verified and it's sending you a stall tactic letter because it doesn't like the verbiage because the verbiage that you're using doesn't sound like it's coming from a regular person. It sounds like you're using software or some powerful AI technology like Dispute Beast and they're like, nah, bro, that ain't you. But guess what? It's still coming from you so they still have to process that dispute. So what I want you to do is I want you to set up your free account with Equifax, your free account with Experian, your free account with TransUnion. Just simply Google free TransUnion account, free Equifax account, and free Experian account. You should not pay anything to create your free account, and then we are going to dispute directly with the credit reporting agency themselves. So each credit reporting agency has what's called a dispute center. You literally log into your account once you create your free account and then you find the dispute center. Once you get to the dispute center, it's going to ask you what would you like to dispute. It's gonna say accounts, personal information. You choose what is going to fit you the best. So if you're trying to attack some specific account, then you choose that specific account with the credit reporting agency. Now I can't tell you exactly what to say, but based on all the choices, you can choose other if the choice is there or you choose whatever reason fits you best but in the other block it's going to ask you to actually put some type of comment in there you're going to put in that little other box i am attaching my dispute letters to dispute these negative items on my credit report once you choose the other it's going to ask you to put something in the other box you have to type something in there what you're going to type in there i am attaching my letters of all the items that are, i am disputing on my credit report Please do a full investigation based on my dispute that I have attached here. Now you're going to upload all of your dispute letters into their system. Last part's the most important. You're going to do this for Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Do it with every single one of them that sends you a stall tactic letter. And then once you do that, you're going to have a direct dispute reference number. So they can't say they never received it. They can't say, oh, it came from someone suspicious. You have logged into your account and you have been verified and now you're disputing directly with them. And now they're actually gonna save you some money because you don't have to mail out any letters. And if the credit reporting agencies are asking you for supporting documentation to prove who you are, Experian loves to do this one, then you do that also through the portal. You dispute something and then you attach your documents to say, 
you requested in the little other box, you're going to type in there, you requested additional proof of my identity. I have attached it here in my letters that I, that I have uploaded. Please follow up and do a full investigation with the dispute letters that I have also attached and attach your dispute letters that they say they weren't going to actually do an investigation or dispute. The credit reporting agencies don't expect you to understand how to use their systems. They expect you to not think, oh man, I'm just gonna go dispute directly with them. What are they gonna do? They're gonna have to do a full investigation and they're gonna have to follow the process. Now, if you're disputing with any secondary credit reporting agencies, as an example, LexisNexis, LCI, Anovis, ARS, Credco, Clarity, DataX, MicroBuilt, and Factor Trust, you should be disputing with all of these individually also. But of course, they're also gonna send you a stall tactic letter. And if they request more information from you, like, hey, we need more proof that this is actually you, then send them the proof but when you do it you type up a very nice letter and you say hey you requested an additional information for me to prove who I am so I have attached my driver's license my utility bill and my social security card that's up to you if you want to but I'm telling you right now it helps and then go take it to a bank and get it notarized for free then you put in that letter I've also got it notarized so you can see that it is me and I expect you to respond to every single dispute letter that I send you moving forward this is exactly how you handle all these ho-ass credit reporting agencies. It's not rocket science, but at the same time, it's really scary, intimidating, and a lot of people get freaked out. They're like, what do I do? It's just, it's just, this is pointless. I'm getting nowhere. No, this is exactly what they want you to do. They want you to quit, so guess what? They can keep you in the bad credit category, and they can continue to sell your bad credit information to subprime lenders, because remember, I've said it once, and I'll say it again. The credit reporting agencies make money from selling your data to subprime lenders. It is a billion dollar business. It's called big data for a reason because that's exactly how the credit reporting agencies make money. And if they can keep your credit score down, then they're gonna make more money off of you. And a special shout out to all my beasters out there that are using Dispute Beast, the most advanced AI credit repair software ever created to help them fix their credit. If you're suffering from a low credit score, got a bunch of collections, charge off to need some help fixing your credit, link is going to be in the description for Dispute Beast to get started today. I'm gonna leave you with one bigger tip. Any of your dispute letters that you're going to send out, if you take the time and take it to a bank and get it notarized, you are proving that this is coming directly from you. So you're adding another layer of security. You should be able to get it notarized for free at your actual bank. All banks usually offer this service for free for all of their members. Don't let any of these idiots on social media make you think that fixing your credit's easy. The moment they say it's easy, they're lying because it's not. This is a process and it takes time and you're gonna have to battle with the credit bureaus until they tap out and you don't wanna tap out because you're giving up on so much. You're giving up on your financial future at the end of the day. Hope you enjoyed this video. We covered a big one on how to handle the ho-ass credit reporting agencies when they're just being ho-asses. Now make sure that you watch the next video because it is about how to attack charge-offs if you're having that issue also. If you felt that I brought you some value in this video, make sure that you don't forget and subscribe to increase your credit score.